after round six, we decided to sort of put our teams where we think the teams are when it comes to the AFL this year, when we thought we're, they're sitting in terms of um, four particular spots on the ladder. We had Dope Book, September Holidays, Hold. We also had the Friend Zone and Start Packing for Vegas. Then when we did this after round, after the first six games were played, and this was the breakdown of the teams. Isn't it amazing, my friend? Uh, the halfway mark of the season where every team has played uh, the, the num- 12 rounds. How much different this looks after the season so far. So what I would like to do is instead of going team by team across the top and next level and so forth, what I thought we'll do is we'll keep it by the AFL ladder because that ladder is going to just put things in a little bit of perspective because I want to start from the bottom and then work my way up. Is that okay with you, big boy? I'm, yep, let's do it. So let's start with the 18th place team, North Melbourne. Okay, when we had them originally, we had them um, in start packing for Vegas. And are they still packing for Vegas in your humble opinion? Absolutely. They are, but I will say this. They are not the worst team at the moment. They are, they're not too bad. So they've, they could move into the friend zone very, very easily in the next five or six years. All right, Richmond, are they still sitting in uh, start packing for Vegas? Uh, yeah. Yep. All right. They're not moving at all either. All right. West Coast Eagles, have you still got them down there? Still down there. Beautiful. All right. Next, we've got the Adelaide Crows in 15th position. Are they still packing for Vegas as well? Yeah, they're Vegas for me as well. They're All right. So that really hasn't changed at the moment. St. Kilda. Well, what do you think? Well, I think those four are pretty much right themselves. They haven't done anything. They're putrid. And that's where they deserve to be. All right. St. Kilda, we had them in the friend zone. Uh, but J-Dog, after what they've seen in the first half of the season, there's only one place that this mob can actually be. They're not even in the friend zone anymore. I think they need to start packing for Vegas, to be honest. Sit, they've been sitting in the middle for so long. They're not going to be challenging for the eight. They're, they're probably going to sit anywhere from you know 12th to 15th. So why don't we just start getting to start packing for Vegas and just be realistic on where they need to be? Just get them out of there. Just get them out of there. They're wasting people's time. Get them out of the friend zone. They're not getting a date. They're not. So they're, on, so they're on twenty points. They're on twenty points at the moment. Yep. <laughs> and two percent. Yeah. I'm, okay. Let's do it. I'm there, gone, mate. There you go. Start calling your travel agent boys because don't worry about going to the MCG. You're better off going to nine zero two one zero because that's all that's happening with you. Rightio. The yes, next you're, you're gonna say start, start, start yeah, we, your midgets and schoolgirls. Oh yeah, Ben Stark. Yes, midgets, schoolgirls, and um, make sure that you bring your lighters as well too. Rightio, Hawthorne. They're sitting thirteenth. We had them after six rounds. They were packing for Vegas. I think we even we even had they had one foot through the door. But J Dog, they are not even uh, there right now. I'm actually bypassing the friend zone, and I would love to put them into the whole basket. Here's why. They are one game out of the top eight. Yes. They've got, I think, a pretty good run coming home, but they are probably the most informed team out of the Brisbane Lions and Western Bulldogs. I'll take those two out. But out of everybody else in the bottom half of the ladder, they are the most informed team, and I reckon they're a massive chance. If results start to go their way, and we've said that, and I'll get that in in a moment in terms of how hard some of the draws are coming up, they could pinch an eight spot. So they are a hold because they're not doing. They're not just sitting in the friend zone and not doing anything. They're actually having a hot, good, hard crack at it. They're playing some of the best football going around, and they have come out of the cellar. And mate, they are sitting at the table saying, "We want a piece of this pie." They've bypassed the friend zone, mate. They've jumped. Well, I don't mind it because they've got West Coast this week. What more can I say? That is absolutely sensational. All right, Gold Coast Suns. J-Dog, um, look, I, I'm a glass half full type of guy. No, you're not. But unfortunately, sometimes the glass needs to be poured out. And I don't know how much longer I can keep going on. They're, they're a chance. They're a chance. We had them at a hold because we thought they were going so well. Join me. We Join me. Join me. Go down one. Are we going one? I'm going Vegas. You going straight to Vegas? All right, we'll put the sun it's, in the it's June. It's June, Peps. 
Yeah. They do it every year, Peps. Every yeah. year we talk about this. This is why I say that they are the biggest waste on the AFL landscape. They're just a tease, aren't they? They're just a tease. And AFL's going great guns up there at the Gold Coast. It is. It I'm, is. I'm not knocking the. I'm not lock, knocking what what the junior and the senior lists and what's going on development wise. Yep. But that team is a, a wasteland at the moment. Yeah, I would say that the Hardwick effect has shown definite signs this year. It's going to have to take another year. So did you? Is it the same about, about, about you all the time? Yeah, oh, the Suns are back. Look yeah. at them. Yeah, well, I, did, playing I, did, well. I thought I thought that would happen, but it's not. There's there's a, just a different mold up there now. There's too many players that aren't getting game. Look, you could go up there and get a retirement retirement contract. You can't even get that now because there's that much talent coming through from this draft and the draft after that they're just going to stockpile so much talent, and a lot of it is Queensland talent now. It's not just wow. you know pulling it back up. So I think. Hardwick effect, I think we'll have more, another preseason under it next year. I know we keep saying it, but I I do have faith in it. I do Can have I faith. Can I make a concession then? Yes. I will hold the olive branch out to my son's supporter friends. Okay. The olive branch is I still believe that they will win a premiership mm -hmm. before St. Kilda. Oh, that's probably correct. I'd actually probably agree with that. <laughs> I would definitely agree with it. All right. Western Bulldogs. They're sitting on 28 points. Now, they are currently sitting in the hold in a brave hard accent. 28 points uh, moving into the finals. I'm friend zone, Peps. They're too inconsistent for me. You're putting them in the friend zone? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, I mean, I mean, they're, 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 licking, they're, licking, they're licking the tail of the uh, eight. They um, are. But what I would say is, is that they've been stiff over the last couple of weeks with players that are injured. Norton being out, Richards being out. They're going to be back in the, and Waitman. They're going to be back in the next couple of weeks. And so that and and also got to remember Darcy has been out. So they've had four players out for the last couple of games, and they've been able to get pied, get past those. I think they're a massive chance to make finals. I'd have them in the hold zone, but. If you're feeling for the friend zone, like I said, we're going to come back in another six weeks. Have a look at this. We both could be completely wrong. We both could be completely right. One of us is going to be right. One of us is going to be wrong. I just need to see, maybe, maybe, maybe need to see what they've got ahead of them. But I just I think they're um I don't I I just have got no no faith in the doggies. Okay, beautiful. All right. Well, what about this mob? The Brisbane Lions. We had them in the friend zones after round six. They were going backwards at the rate of knots. J Dog. All I'm going to say is. What they've served up in the last quarter of the season has been sensational. I didn't see a turnaround this big occurring because they were just all – they had nothing going right for them. Game plans weren't working. They couldn't score. They were getting scored against really easily. And then it just clicked and everything is – everything's good. Do we put them up into don't book uh, September holidays even though they're sitting 10th at the moment? I think you kind of – I think you have to. I think you have to. I, I can't see them going backwards. I can't see them going backwards. And you have a look at the teams that we're going to get to in a moment. They're going to be dropping out something chronic. They're, they're, just they're, they're, good. they're too good to be missing out. They play Melbourne this week. So percentage booster, and they're already on 122%, which is the second best percentage in the league. Yeah. That smells in, mate. They're coming home in a hurry. All right. Sitting ninth at the moment, my boys, Melbourne. Uh, hey, look, we thought they were looking all right. They were sitting six and two. They were looking sensational. Too many injuries. Game plan that doesn't work. Coach has got no idea. Uh, too many young players in. It's all on Gorn's shoulders. People can't kick scores. They are a shambles. I don't know who to blame, but something's definitely wrong there. There might, there might not be smoke, um, but there's definitely a lot of fire and it's not happening within uh, the oval. It's happening within the four walls. Mate, West, they're going straight past hold. They're going straight into the friend zone. Actually, I'm putting them straight into start packing for Vegas. They've dropped three levels. They, um, big drop. It's a big drop. And when you see who they've, they're playing four teams in the back half of this season that they've already lost to this year. They straight start packing for Vegas, and they're going to have to make some serious decisions. Now, this is coming from a team that was fourth last year, has lost their last four finals, and was sitting six and six and two. That's a that's a big drop off, big drop off. But you know what? Sometimes it has to happen for the reality check to get banked. 
Somebody else needs a reality check, Port Adelaide, my friend. Um, they're sitting eighth at the moment on 32, just uh, 0.6 of a percentage point with Melbourne. Be honest, mate, where are you boys going? Well, honestly, we can't we can't talk about Vegas and Port Adelaide. So we, can we can we put like Bali there or something? I can't. You know what I'll do? I'm just going to put them into Vegas. But what I'll do is Vegas, uh, but I'll put in a Bali just for you. How's that sound? Thank you. Thank yep. you. Right, because we don't want to bring it up, but yeah, your um, your mob, no good. You're you're no, worse absolutely putrid. You're actually you're not worse than us. It'd be funny if our both teams played each other. How bad of a game would be? We don't play. Oh, we got one more game this year against each other. Don't yeah, we? we're going to go. We're going. We're playing over there. Where? No, you're playing over here. Are we? We played you already once over there. Now you come back over to here. We'll go to MCC again. Oh, again? Yeah, I took you last time. Anyway, yeah, yeah, it's very good. Yeah, yeah, very good. All right, Geelong Cats. Now, we had the Cats sitting, uh, don't book September holidays. They were looking mighty fine at the top of the ladder. But at the moment, like I said, Hawkins is now out. They're starting to get a few injuries. Their form is a little bit inconsistent. I will say that they've got quite a number of games down at GMHBA to finish the season off, I believe. And so, it's not a, it's, it's not a brutal draw for them. It's not. Can I maybe just put them into the hold at the moment? Or are you going just one drop? Well, okay. Uh, no, You're right. Nicer no, than no, me. No, 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 let's do it. No, let's go. Let's put them down. Or, yeah, friend zone. Because I don't know what's going on with them at the moment. Can I give uh, you that run home then? Yeah, go for it. Would that, would that be helpful for you? It might help. So, Geelong Cats. What mm -hmm. the? Geelong Cats have got on the way home. Mm -hmm. They've got Essendon this week. Loss. Then Hawthorne. Can you tell me where they're being played? Uh, GMHBA against, oh, sorry, uh, Melbourne, uh, MCG for Essendon, They'll lose that. for the Hawthorne game, MCG for Collingwood. They'll lose that. GMHBA for Western Bulldogs. They'll probably win that. Bunstone Arena for North Melbourne. I reckon they might lose that. GMHBA for Adelaide. Win that. And then Dockers in up to Stadium. Lose that. St. Kilda at Marvel. And then the Weagles at GMHBA. So they might get another six wins. And six will get them a 13 win season, but we know it's very tight. All right, mate, I reckon the friend zone is the perfect spot for them at the moment. Yep. Perfect spot for them. GWS, we had them in. They were flying. At the start of the season, and I don't think that they're much chop at the moment. Uh, they're definitely a hold for me. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, they're hold. They're hold. Their scoring, their scoring potential has just dropped off completely. Toby Green, I don't know what's happened with him, but he has gone completely backwards ever since he's had a child. Things are just he hasn't. It's not the same Toby. He's not the same Toby floating around. And uh, mm, yeah, there's there's something not right there. But I know that they can when they do pull it together, they are going to be very very challenging, very very difficult. Um, but. Like I said, we'll be, we're only at the halfway season. We'll get there in a moment. All right. Fremantle. We had them in the friend zone. Um, but based off what I've seen, their midfield is just humming at the moment. And their forward 50 set up. Uh, Tracy, a miss. Frederick, when he's down there, you've got Sarong drives down there. Brayshaw drives down there. Hayden Young through there as well, too. They're, we know what their back line can do. Can I just throw them straight to don't book September holidays? I like what they've straight got. Straight up. Yeah, I'm going straight up with them. Oh, I, they are not – when we have a look in a moment, are they worse than your mob? No. Are they no. playing better than Geelong? Yes. Are they playing better than GWS? Somehow, yes. Okay, so you're looking at that there. Those three teams are going to drop out. You're not going to have four teams drop out, and I don't think it's going to be them. And the games when you go over to Perth are a lot harder than if you go down to – Marvel or go to the Adelaide Oval. I just think that trip over there can be an absolute nightmare for teams. Do you know, I agree, Peps. I, I agree with you. The, the only thing that Frio that freaks me out about them is they can play unbelievable football and then for three weeks go cold and you're like, where has your kicking gone? Where's your scoring gone? Yep. No, I agree. I, I agree. I reckon they are better than what um, than what we've pulled out of that uh, September holiday time. Yep. Yeah. It's 
Look, they can be up and down, but they're scoring a lot better. They're sitting at a percentage of 112, which is surprising. It's a second best. It's a third best in the top eight surprising. at the moment. For Fremantle, I think Melbourne helped them quite a bit when we, we gave them about 88% that weekend. It was pretty good. So they're, they're going all right. All right. A uh, couple teams to wrap this one up. All right. Collingwood to be sitting fourth with all their injuries and who they've got to come back. They are not a hole. They, they're not booking September holidays. But it wasn't a good start. I think the first yeah. three they lost. Might have been the first three. But anyway, they've come home strong. They've got their bearings together. We'll get into them very, very shortly because it was a very nice way to look at just where do they sit and what's their potential moving in based off statistical analysis for the first half of the season. But, yes, they're definitely up there right at it. Essendon, look, I'm a believer now. There's a lot to like about Essendon. Still got a couple of things to fix up, and I'll get into that very, very shortly. But they, uh, they're winning. They're winning well. And don't worry about being a hole. They are playing September action at the end of the season. So, Eston supporters, you're either going to be very, very happy uh, or very, very disappointed that you're going to lose another final. But you know the good thing is, Jamie? It won't be my team and it won't be your team having the record of losing to Essendon in the finals since 2004 or whatever it is. It is true. And that weekend, this, this weekend just gone was, was, was my little green mental tick of like, yeah, 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 they've, they're, they're, they're a solid eight team. Yeah. And their forward line, Stringer, Langford, and Wright, when that gets up Coming. and firing, it's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Hey, Carlton, we don't have to talk about them. They're just doing what they need to do. And the Sydney Swans, they are up there as well. So there is our halfway mark. Don't book September holidays. We've got the Swans, Carlton, Brisbane, Frio, Collingwood, Essendon, a hold at the moment, the GWS and... Hawthorne in the friend zone, the Doggies and Geelong. Star packing for Vegas or Bali, Adelaide, West Coast, Richmond, North, St. Kilda, Suns, Melbourne, and the Power. Let us know in the comments if uh, we got it right, if we got it wrong, who needs to be shifted. Uh, and also remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you get this amazing stuff delivered to your YouTube inbox each and every single week without having to lift a... So Peppies, yeah, mate. Let's have a quick, a uh, uh, quick rundown then of what we had. So we had Sydney, Carlton, so one and two, yep. Essendon, Collingwood, Fremantle. Yep. Okay, so from that list, then we pulled GWS out of the Don't Book September holidays. We ripped the Cats out, and we shunned Port Adelaide right to the bottom. And Melbourne. We pulled Melbourne out. Okay. So the current eight, you're saying out of this current eight right now as it stands, GWS, Lockheed. Collingwood, GWS, Port, and, Ge and Geelong? Yeah. Come out. out. Yep. Yep. You've put Hawthorne, who are currently sitting in 13th, into mm -hmm. the hold. Yep. And the Giants, you've left in there in the hold pattern. You've declared that the Western Border is currently sitting in 11th in a friend zone. Oh, I did, sorry, that was me. Yep. And the cat sitting in the friend zone. So it could go up, but friendly zone a little bit. Mm -hmm. Are they going to do anything? Are they going to make a move or are they just going to sit back and let everybody pass them and take their shot at the title? And we've been much stronger this time on, on declaring our packing for Vegas Bali trips. Yep. You know, the worst thing is Lee Mac. You know, he goes to every grand final. Yeah. He booked Bali grand final week. Um, Lee, Mac, hit me up. I'll be in Bali yeah. as well. You know. Oh, okay. Then you two can hit well, each other. Got, come, you come across. It'll be the me. Oh, yeah. I think I want to go to Bali. Come across, Peps. Lee, Mac, you, I mean, you, Lee, Mac, and myself at the Y bar, grand final day. <laughs> Sounds wrong, shit. 